equating us shilling for ourselves for a colonoscopy, I feel is a How bit dare too you much. Tempt me with I a know good time. that. <laughs> I, I think it's about fifty. <laughs> and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly. Whatever the hell else we come up with, I'm Vin, that is Jordan, that is Pedro, and that is you, watching us live, here on Twitch, helping us form, Cocaine Voltron. Coming to a theater soon, apparently. Dude, Netflix, come on, we need like, <laughs> oh, did you see like the scuttlebutt about the legitimately thing about doing a live action Voltron? Can that- Yeah, Netflix has nothing to do with that now, apparently, I was going to say. Like- the- yeah, could could you do a live action Voltron and it not just suck? Oh, see that that that's the dream, right? Like somehow Pacific somehow they rim. pull it out. <laughs> the specific rim the shit out of Voltron. We'll be okay with that. See, if they did that, that might work. Like it's a shame they only made one Pacific Rim movie. Uh, but they, they they needed to bring the sword out earlier. That was that was my main problem with Pacific Rim. Is like, oh, this you were using fucking a murders fucking him? boat. Dude, yeah, like this thing murders up. everything. That was no, brilliant, no. brilliant directing because they that sword came out at the right time to get the entire world in lockstep. With like we got a sword the whole time. Sword. <laughs> Here's the thing. I mean, what if they did it? They should hand it off to the um, production director crew of uh, Battleship Yamato. What was it, Yamato? The uh, the the live action Yamato thing. Yamato, yeah, like, like that was done well Yamato. enough. That was pretty decent uh, ad- adaptation. I saw the trailer. I never, I never watched it. Go did watch you, it. Did, you, did you, you watch it? You get absolutely, you get two movies in one. If you watch it in Japanese with English subtitles, that's one movie. If you watch it with the American dub over it, English dub, completely different movie. Ah, <laughs> fa- fascinating. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worth keeping an eye on. So what have we been up to? Um, let me see. I'm scrolling to the top because I don't remember what I wrote down. Right. I want a steam brick. I saw a YouTuber. I was thinking about getting that like recommended what, earlier this week. I'm like, man, yeah, that's what I want. That's that's what I want from Valve. I want the Steam Brick. I want a Steam Nook from Valve, and I'm sure they're working on something like that. Doubly sure now, because I saw a YouTuber uh, with a early press release of you know not press release but a review sample of the upcoming um, new AMD hardware in a Nook format. I think it might have been from like ASUS or somebody like that with the new graphics and everything that's inside the Steam Deck. That's what I want. I'm not interested in playing my games on the go. I just want that tight little hardware package for like three or 400 bucks. Kind of excited tight. about that. Yeah. And on top of that, the never ending, anytime you have a problem with Jitsi, when Jitsi works, it's great. We have our own Jitsi server. It's set up, but man, like little weird things result in like three competing threads that have been going on for three or four years and trying to piece together that moon managing like, ah, I think I finally figured it out. Anyway, <laughs> that that's what I've been up to lads. How about you, Pedro? You've been, you've had a deck in your hands for over a week now. Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> it is very nice. Uh, it's, uh, it. It, it's been my Elden crack machine uh, to the point where I am very much near the end of the game. It's just the final double boss fight in a row that you don't get a breather in between. Uh, uh, So, yeah, I'm avoiding that boss fight like the plague. I went in once, got my ass handed to me, rightfully so. So now I've gone back and I'm exploring every little nook and cranny to just find all the stuffs and then I might consider finishing it. (laughs) Jordan, is there a game you haven't beat yet? For that reason, you're just like, you know what? I, I don't I don't want this to end to end because, you know, there's not a part two, even all these years later. I never you know, I very seldomly run into it. Usually I'll just like spaz out and lose interest before I get I'll, I'll, I'll get like maybe three quarters of the way through a game. I'm notorious about not finishing them. I'm I'm, I'm really bad about it. Skyrim never beat Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, but here's the thing, though. You could absolutely ha- the entire game of Skyrim minus the main quest and you can still have a blast like there's enough content in there that you can just ignore yes. that that, guy, <laughs> that game and still have like a well at one point it was like worth the 60 dollars. now 10 years later 16 <laughs> skyrim releases later maybe maybe not so much but you get what i mean right 
it's something that just keeps getting made over and over and over. And it's always the same thing, but we're happy to see it. Kind of like our horse. Yeah, it, it is the American cheese. It is the Velveeta of news segments. It's the steam. Linux. Oh my God, it's finally here, you guys. <laughs> you can finally play Steam games on the go. We're talking about Steam OS on huh? Chromebooks. Really? really? Steam, Steam on Chromebooks, yeah. Um, we, we've there, there have been rumblings about it. We've talked about it a few times. Uh, the mysterious Borealis uh, updates coming in through the Chrome OS Alpha channel. But it's here. You're going to need a Chromebook with at least uh, i5, 8 gigs of RAM, and Intel Z graphics. Z graphics uh, in order to play honestly what is a pretty impressive like list of games if you scroll down to the bottom of the thing there's actually there's actually a decent amount of uh, of variety available and I, I I know what you're saying you know it's Steam OS on a Chromebook or Steam on a Chromebook whatever right but I don't I don't know to, to, to me it's like as the more we can chip away at like Windows being the only PC gaming platform I think the better in the long run because this is still going to be using Proton this is still going to be in the Linux ecosystem so and um I, I I don't know I don't know if Google completely scooped up the Lunar G people or if they're just like paying them to do to do work but like it it may get it may get upstreamed or it may just get Put into the Stadia section where Google pretends pretends it doesn't exist. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at that, and I, I saw the list of um, what this runs on, and that's kind of what we've definitely talked about. 100% what I expected. The Chromebook is a 100% list of six to seven hundred dollar Chromebooks because I kind of price checked the ones on that, and. Uh, I, you know, you're going to need an i5 or an i7 and eight gigs of RAM. You might have an old Chromebook laying around, you know, operating as a doorstop, maybe something like you don't have one of these laying around operating as a doorstop. If you do good on you, you've made good life choices. <laughs> you have, have, a, have yeah, a brand new man. Chromebook as a doorstop. Yeah. I have a Chromebook, bills. but uh, the support on that is apparently going to run out in June. Nice. Uh, thanks for all the fish, but yeah, no, it, it only has a seller on too. So there was no way in hell. I hope, I hope, uh, because I did play around with uh, Chrome OS flex when Google's like, eh, it's available now. If you, you know, agree to us taking even more of your personal data, you can download it. Fine. Whatever. You already know everything about me. So I put it on the ThinkPad X240, but it also very much doesn't meet the requirements because it has a fourth gen i7 in it and certainly doesn't have XZ graphics. So yeah, no, uh, I'll have to hopefully get a really cheap i5 laptop with XZ graphics at some point. Come on, Pedro, you I, I can trade your Steam Deck for like two Chromebooks. <laughs> no. I, I mean, ho hopefully at I some could, point they're going to no. enable a Wild West mode. Because, yeah, a lot of people have old Chromebooks around. I like, really you might not be able to play Left 4 Dead. It looks like even on these high-end, <laughs> real wicked expensive ones, the game is struggling, man. Well, it, you can at least play FTL into the graphics. Breach. Uh. Yeah, like, <laughs> if, if, if you're playing, like, pixel games, yeah, it's fine, absolutely. But, uh, yeah, for any... any it's like Fallout 4, games. yeah, make sure that's medium or lower. <laughs> How about Proton? Oh, oh, yeah. This is how you know you get a Proton experimental update, isn't it? Oh yeah, when you're when you're checking the diffs <laughs> on, gotta... on their Git repo, <laughs> yep. they they oh man, yeah. But uh, you know, brow browsing through that, if you've never looked at a at a diff before, uh, so a bunch of new games got added to the playable list: Fall in Labyrinth, King of Fighters, um, thirteen Montaros, Metal Slug Two, Metal Slug Three, Double Dragons, Baseball All Stars, Atri, My Dear Moments, uh, so. Uh, those, those are those are the big ones. There's also a lot of like random little fixes that don't seem to be anything too huge. But again, they're plugging holes. It's making the Proton platform uh, better, and they changed the uh, the reference of uh, what uh, BK D3D Proton they're using. It's still the same one. I'm I'm aware of that. Yeah. No, I, I saw Pedro put the note in there. I'm like I'm a, I'm aware of what that is. I actually looked at the the comparison. And I realized it's the same thing, but they changed the note anyways, and so I decided to mention it. Yeah, it is just the release version of what was available on uh, Bleeding Edge at the time, which uh, if you're still tracking Bleeding Edge, um, 
if you have an AMD card, make sure you upgrade your Mesa to Mesa 22. Otherwise, you're not going to be having a very good time playing any DXVK or VKD 3D titles. It's not going to work very well. Oh, yeah. There, there, there's, so, there's that API break happening, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, the um, Yeah, the, the thing that jumped out at me with this one was uh, King of Fighters 13. I streamed that game. <laughs> Uh, it didn't have any videos like any of the cutscenes or any stuff like that. Um, but I, I streamed it. I did the stream of it. So, yeah. <laughs> who's, who, who's, who's your preferred king of fighter, Pedro? Um, the cab person. Uh, what's his name? Like, uh, like is, we're going to know. I mean, come on. My, 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 mine is 100% <laughs> my because she's the hot one and that's it. Yes. It's Terry. 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 It's Terry. <laughs> Another Terry little Bogart, bit of yeah. deck related news. <laughs> Survey time. Opt-in feedback. Let's talk about this. Uh, Because they are not. Valve is very clear to point out. Not crowdsourcing. Compatibility testing. Nay. They're asking the crowd if the system works and will alter things based on the feedback. There's a difference. Shut up. There is. Kind of. Technically, yes. (laughs) Uh, What do we think about this? Because, Pedro, you, uh, this, I think they announced this yesterday? Yes. And it and launched yesterday. The whole thing is, is like, hey, you get done playing a game, or if you just want to opt in, and you can share your experiences. How's the compatibility? Is it holding up? Is it up to snuff? Is it as good as we said it was? And you were playing some Elden it's Ring. It's literally just the one question. That, that It's not fake advertising. They just ask you, would you like to uh, provide feedback? And if you say yes, then you'll get another one question. So, ah, I saw you play the game. This game is considered verified. Do you agree? I got that with Elden Ring, and I said no. Because of every five times I try to launch that game, it only launches once. Everything else after the uh, EAC launcher goes away, I'm just left looking at the screen. It's like, oh, you're not actually going to load. Right, so no, that 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 to me does not mean verified. Not the way you described it anyway, <laughs> but I opted well, into it because I'm an early adopter. So, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> and, and, and I mean, like, it's it's effectively recapture for game compatibility. It's not a bad thing. And that's ultimately how you train these algorithms, right? Like you have them make the decision, then you compare them to the human feedback and you, you know, you, you train it on that, right? So at least they're, they're trying whether or not they succeed mm-hmm. is an entirely separate matter, but they are, they are at least putting their best foot forward, it seems. I think it's a good idea. And, um, you know, Valve's pretty decent with this kind of stuff. I mean, there's not like worries about privacy and stuff like that. And I don't think they're going to share that. Oh, man. It's what? opt in, too. So, yeah. 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 That, yep. that by itself is really good. What do we think the um, survey result numbers are going to look like? Is anybody given that a thought? <laughs> like, hmm. If they publish them, I, I would be very curious to see. Yes, yeah. but I don't know if they're going to publish them. <laughs> Why not? I don't. I, I don't think so. Because they're a private company; they don't answer to anyone but their own money. <laughs> I, I I think if they're if they're going to show it, it's going to be like in a in a in a roundup article, like in a year or two, saying like, "Well, the Steam Deck experiment has gone swimmingly. We went from this reported error rate to this reported error rate, and we're yeah, lo- like the twenty five percent increase of the <laughs> okay. What about this twenty twenty one article? We're looking at the survey. Do you think we're just going to see a, a giant bump in Linux overall? Uh, I think we're going to see a bump. That's um, um, unless they try it in yeah, its own I'm, column. I mean, it wasn't. It wouldn't take much to knock our uh, brothers and sisters on uh, OS X off the map. <laughs> well, like, I, it's and, only and yeah, a couple more percent, and we're there. But yeah, it's still going to be I, a couple more percent. <laughs> I, I think. I think the magic number is like five, because then that's like that's that's the like what Mac was sort of sitting at when they started getting like mm-hmm. a lot better support than we were. So uh, here's the yeah. thing: um, I follow Mac OS uh, gaming on the Reddit, on the subreddit, that that is like peering into the Linux gaming subreddit five years ago. Like where they're yeah, at it's, right it's, now it's, with the it's, M1. It's like the alternate future, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're very, very much behind Feral and very much behind Code Weavers. That is like their two things, because everything else, like, ah, uh, maybe, maybe. Man, just, 
what 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 is, what is the Mac user Mac Gamecast version of us look like? I'm, I'm so curious. Like in in in, in probably in, like, better the, the lit. Mirror, mirror, <laughs> It's like much brighter rooms, uh, really fancy looking cameras, really expensive cameras, probably. Yeah. Because if they're doing Mac stuff, they can probably how, afford better things. How than many? I do. How many thousand dollar <laughs> monitor stands do you think they own? Yes. <laughs> it's gonna lined up in the background. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they have the one in the background holding the one five thousand dollar monitor. Oh, no, man, they just get, they don't have <laughs> monitors on them. They're just like, look at these, man. Look at, <laughs> look, look, look at these stands. Every time I think about them, they make me bland. All right, well, maybe maybe Steam OS isn't your speed. Maybe you want to try something else, Pedro. <laughs> maybe you long for the uh, good old days of the old old um <laughs> old, old, old. Uh, the old UI. Yeah. Well, you can. You can absolutely experience it. And uh, the fine folks of Chimera OS, formerly Gamorous, uh, have decided to, you know, we have a Steam Deck. Let's just install our own operating system on it. And they did. And it's working great, except there is no audio. <laughs> Feature parity with Windows. <laughs> I, so, like, that's that's the thing, though. I got to wonder, what's so special about this, like, audio system that everyone is having problems? Like, it doesn't work on Windows. I it doesn't work on, like, no stock idea. Linux. <laughs> like, what, what's going on? Is is it some, like, custom silicon nonsense? Is there is there some additional drivers in the Steam OS kernel that we're maybe not privy to? Custom silicon. Yet? Custom silicon, yeah. you're relying on yeah. AMD to like AMD has zero zero cares <laughs> about Windows drivers on these things too, man. You could you gotta keep yeah. that in mind. But like the Linux stuff, I don't know. I mean, there's gotta be something in Steam OS three that we're just not aware of. They have their yeah. own custom kernel. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so 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 may, may, I mean may, maybe it'll get upstreamed. Hopefully it does. Valve has been pretty good about that stuff so far. So Right. Un, 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 unless there's some like special like no, we have a black box thing in here from AMD. Do not, do not touch. Ooh, then, then what? Yeah, then, yeah, then what is, <laughs> is the real question? I'll tell you something you can do in the meantime. You can take a trip down. This is not memory lane. This is exactly what Steam, the, the amazing consistency of Steam UI. This comes from our Steam on Reddit, to which, you know, I'm showing up on the screen, which looks like a collage of Steam client and web page design over the years to which i'll say it's not this this is steam in 2022 this is uh yep. yeah that is current <laughs> microservices can, dude you you can <laughs> dig through this stuff i mean you can basically carbon date now uh, when each ui element was last worked on by just going through the tab menus the buttons on steam the drop down menus the search bars not one no 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 11. <laughs> <laughs> well, when, when you yeah, really no, got to find something. That person, uh, that person doesn't have a Steam Deck because there's a few of them missing. Um, <laughs> like the search bar on the Steam Deck, completely different. <laughs> I I, ha- I have I have two I have two theories. Either uh, there is not a UI consistency theme or team pod whatever at Valve, or there is, and those folks are just collecting a fucking paycheck. Mm. Um, last structure, baby. <laughs> yeah, because like I, I mean, th- this this it is really the epitome of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? But I don't, I don't know. It's it's a little it's uh, it's never bothered me. It's kind of fun. It's one of those things where it doesn't bother you until you see it and you're like, oh, that is, that is kind of funny. Yeah, it's, 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 not something that I'd necessarily notice. Here's what I do notice is like when they have just whacked out completely different layouts between pages. Oh I'm yeah. Like, what? Where's the, uh, no, that, oh, on this version, you think version in your head, because why hasn't this been updated? No, it's just how this page is. Well, it's like, it was like the, the store and the library are the two that get the most love and everything else is just kind of like, mm. nah, we'll get to it. If we, <laughs> if, if it breaks, I mean, I, I was happy for the, um, the UI, the library UI upgrade. That one was nice. It was a bit rough when it first launched, mm-hmm. but yeah. it's nice. <laughs> we get I, used I to like, it now. <laughs> I do like being able to like easily reorder the downloads. That that was a very yeah. appreciated feature. That was, that was nice. <laughs> so we got a couple of new games this week. And, well, we got a new game this week that we want to talk about and a game update. 
Sparkle, sparkle, motherfucker. It's Dracula's Revenge. Uh, Tozihua's Night? I'm butchering that. Whatever. Uh, you, want, you want some more OG Castlevania in your life after you played through the Bloodstained prequels and somehow got tired of listening to the excellent Rondo of Blood soundtrack? Well, for five bucks, uh, for levels in a hard mode, you, you, you'll get that. Um, yeah, and based on the reviews, it seems like it's a pretty solid Castlevania like. It does it plays pretty much exactly like the uh, NES version um with just new levels, new enemies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The soundtrack is apparently the big complaint I've seen in the reviews. They're like, "Ah, it's just <laughs> kind of basic." But you could just go listen to Rondo of Blood and it's amazing. Uh so go 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 do that. Um but yeah, no, it's it's available on Linux. It is it's five bucks. So if you want more, Castlevania. you say Linux, Jordan. But what you really mean is it's available on any potato Linux. Ah, so I can't run it on Fedora. Damn it. <laughs> this is correct. This is reality <laughs> that you must deal with. Pot- potatoes. Just kind of looking <laughs> at it, uh, two things stuck out to me. Uh, you you got to go go to our show notes. There'll be a link in the show notes if you're audio listener. You probably are. The mustache on my boy on the oh, left. Oh yeah, that, that, that's some choice facial hair. That that was a copy paste. I need uh, that hairstyle transparent pink. Click done. Um, <laughs> yeah, that that just kind of stuck out a little bit. Also, just like looking at the game itself, I have nothing against it. I mean, it's only six bucks. It kind of reminds me of um, what you would call a demake these days, but I always have a good comparison of like DOS games versus like what we had on consoles back in the day, because I remember getting excited when I saw Mega Man for DOS is like, Ooh, finally, you know, I'm not going to have the NES for a while. And like, I played it I'm like, Oh no, not necessarily bad, but very different. Um, does not come in under a hundred megs though. It is a 250 meg game. So it's not true. Hipster pixel. Ah, uh, well, you know, hey, I mean, it's it, probably it, running in Unity. <laughs> it looks all right. It looks all right. Yeah. I didn't. I thought about picking it up. I might still go back and pick it up. I don't know. I'm waiting for some more reviews to roll in. To be honest with you, and uh, there is a Dracula's Revenge soundtrack. Here's the Castlevania I'm interested in. The one I'm following is the Symphony Symphony of the Night remake to the original um, Mega Drive. Okay, Genesis that thing. Which mm-hmm. is no, I played the really Castlevania. Good. It wasn't Symphony of the Night. It was uh, the other one. It was, that it, was it, out it was, on the it, Mega it, Drive. It, it, I think it was it was three, wasn't it? There was like, one. The, ver- the version the version of three that they got. Yeah, I never played it because uh, it, I was probably deep. I know in you my could play as Simon like, and what? the Lady with the Spear, and I I always preferred the Lady with the Spear because I liked her special move better. <laughs> Mm. Well, I'm I'm I'm, sh- I'm sure Strider or Mir will correct us like after we finish the segment. I don't so. know, but what if we really yeah. just want to go back and play the original? Uh, don't do that. I mean, Emulating Nintendo emulate is it? wrong. <laughs> em- it's it's bad. Wrong. Isn't don't it, get us taken off YouTube. Isn't it Sony? Doesn't oh, or Konami? Konami. It's Konami. Yeah. Uh, but, so it needs uh, more yeah, no, you can. You can absolutely go and emulate it. In fact, I highly recommend it because if companies aren't going to make their games available, then um, they deserve. Uh, But if you are running a certain retro arch build from Steam, like the playtest, like everyone else was when it was first made available, please stop and go and get the actual released version because it's out. And the developers are saying, look, it's been six months we see that there's a lot of people still using the playtest version. It, it's going to be shut down. So go and, you know, tick the box to add the, um, the official one. And I mean, kudos, uh, because apparently they did such a good job with the playtest that it worked. And most people just kept using it. Uh, if, it if it ain't uh, broke, so, don't fix it. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> But there, 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 there is there is a problem here. You're centralizing the deployment of an app image on Steam, and that's a no no for some reason. We're not allowed to do that. It oh yeah, no, you you, you can't app just have one central way to get uh, app images. No, sorry, Bob. <laughs> that's not, hey, not man. Bad. that goes against the spirit of the thing. <laughs> I wanted to put this in the notes because I think like a lot of people, I had the play test and I went, wait, there. I thought that was just going to switch over to the regular one. Nope. Mm-hmm. 
Didn't know. <laughs> Double good on the, everyone there, though, because they included the instructions for moving all your save games and stuff like that on Linux. And yeah, that's good to see. And also having RetroArch on Steam is nice. Really you, nice. You, 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 you do any RetroArch stuff on the deck, Pedro, or are you still on the Elden Rings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I put a bunch of the uh, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance ROMs of the games that I actually owned, before you get any ideas. Uh, mostly that Pokemon. you legitimately dumped <laughs> by yourself with your ROM dumper. Uh, conveniently located. I dumped screen. it myself, but I didn't own the equipment. Uh, the dude that ran the IT store did. <laughs> That's how I got those ROMs. Uh, but the. <laughs> you want to know uh, how I got these ROMs? Yeah, no, I don't know. You just invited a five minute long story for a yes or no question. So it's on you, bro. <laughs> You know what it is, it is. Coming up next, Intel is releasing something. What it is? Hmm. It's the news, but not yet. You know that at this point you I have to know the drill. News. And if you don't, welcome. It's, it's, it's auditory. <laughs> There's going with you to be every time. You're like, it's cake yeah, time. They're... But before it's cake time, we're gonna have to do a fucking colonoscopy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean. Equating us shilling for ourselves for a colonoscopy, I feel is a How bit dare too you much. Tempt me with I a know good time. that. <laughs> I, I think it's about 50 50. Yeah. I know that we're hard to put up with sometimes, but come on, man. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just saying, you, you, you really like to bait people with the thing that they're not going to get right away. That, but, uh, but, but, <laughs> go on. It's a teaser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no, it, 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 it's, it's, yeah, false, falsehoods, absolutely. So to continue our spread of falsehoods, to support just constant misinformation from the mouth of Mateus, you can head on over to the Patreon. mouth of Mateus. <laughs> mouth of Mateus. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Uh, sign up, you get some cool stuff. You get access to our Discord channel, which you can get also by uh, subbing to us on Twitch. You can get access, we got we got the pre-pre super shows in where you can listen to that. Uh, if you're an executive producer, though, you get the custom video feed and, you know, you can watch us flail around and talk about, what the hell did we even talk about this when? week? I wasn't paying attention. What were you saying? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know you wanted was, to talk about uh, Star Trek by the end, but we didn't I, get to I, that. I did. I, I brought, <laughs> we kind of got into that. that. If you like teaser. hanging out with us, though, the other six days of the week, we're hanging out in our general Disarraisin channel in Discord. Um, you can get that if you're Twitch sub, Patreon. That is awesome, but we're always live and free on IRC, which is tied into our Discord live channel as well as Twitch. Uh, I do want to give a mention. We do the Trek Mania thing on Tuesdays and Fridays. That's coming up on Tuesday, and that is available for anybody who's a Twitch sub or a patron. If you want to get good grandpa, get good grandma, we're, we're kind of getting into that. We're kind of getting into the super seniors. We're uh, slightly better now. So the maps ah. are going to start getting a little more challenging from the extremely, not extremely, but moderately basic stuff that we've been rolling with. So I want to invite everybody to come play around got- with us. You got any interfacing Linux stuff coming down the pipe that people can get early access to? A couple of things. A couple of things I'm working on. The video that has been production hell is aptly named, What the Hell is NetJack? Um, <laughs> okay. With, 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 with the Kwanzaa <laughs> pamphlet at the, at the beginning? Right? Pretty like, much, man. Like <laughs> trying to describe uh, NetJack to some, and hit both audiences because there's legitimately somebody coming at it from how does this thing work versus what? I don't what need, the hell never, is, what yeah, the hell what is, the hell is <laughs> what is a net jack? Why 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 did YouTube recommend this video for me and tried to sell that? So that's been kind of fun. Kind of challenging. What else do we got? We got a store. We got store.linuxgamecast.com. You can go buy yourself some Linux Gamecast apparel, clothe yourself in it, cover yourself from the harsh summer sun, I guess. I don't know. Cover cover your entire mummify yourself in Linux Gamecast stickers and walk outside. Just be the hell elk demon. Um, <laughs> Take pictures. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, we 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 got uh, we got affiliate links as well. We got a bunch of stuff behind the support tab. Go to linuxgamecast.com. But your master of the support tab. Uh, you can give us some PayPal donations. You can give us some Bitcoin donations. We got wish lists as well. Uh, I got one. Ven has one. Uh, Jill has one. Pedro has one. And yeah, if you if you want if you want to buy me some Clevis pins or buy Ven some studio equipment, um, you can you can you can uh, buy Jordan buy- a vibrator. That's all I saw. Yeah, I saw that <laughs> yeah. too. Right up here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> listen, 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 my that prostate is a vibrator. <laughs> needs needs a lot of massaging. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> 
Pedro with the air filter. Oh, I finally found that other magnetic air filter I had. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was like, man, I've been looking for this yeah. thing. For a long time. <laughs> I still have those filters there. They're probably going to be the next ones next time I need to order something from Amazon. What is that? Copper? Uh, that was, that's, oh, that's, that's a dildo. Thing. That's a dildo. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I'm just uh, They're lock picks, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, you, 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 you can pick the lock of your G-spot, man. That's, Look at this. You, you, could in, you could 100% increase the chance of something in Pedro's computer is going to leak. Because he's a liquid freezer, yes. too. <laughs> you can play that game if you buy me. <laughs> but, you know, you know if, 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 you, if you buy us stuff, you can send us a note. We'll have to read it on the air within reason. Yeah, someone uh, yeah. buy me a two thousand yep. dollar throw rubber. I'm <laughs> looking for that uh, sound <laughs> insulation. This is all the studio stuff, and as Jordan's saying, uh, if you want to end up on this wall back here, that's how you end up as a fine, upstanding cannibal. Name in the credits and all the other fun stuff. Thank you for letting us do this. We got one last person we got to thank though. But we got to thank. We, gotta thank oh, we do. Aldius, uh, Aldius actually bought me uh, Valheim earlier today, so thank you very much. That was actually very much appreciated. Uh, the I. Only very recently added it to the uh, to my wish list on Steam because I saw that they had a new update out. It's like, oh, okay, that might actually be worth. So I put it there, and then window pops up. It's like, oh, thank you, <laughs> thank, thank you, so you all these. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, is that enough shilling and shameless self promotion? I think it yeah. is. Yeah, let's it, talk about ham. Yes, Intel graphics. Mm-hmm. They tweeted uh, three thirty twenty two. That is. The beginning, middle, and end of this tweet, to which we're looking at this. I think click the play button. How long is this exactly? Six seconds seconds. of what could possibly (laughs) only be described as a ham slicer. That's I have (laughs) I have a sudden and powerful urge to go beat some monkeys to death with a stick. I don't know about you guys. What? I don't know. That's either a laptop or a phone. I don't know. I, oh, the, an Intel phone. Can you imagine how much battery that's going to have? Intel sold their mobile uh, division. There. Yeah, they, I, I don't think so. What do we end up with? What do we ultimately have in our hands right now? We got a date for something. Now, yes. I've seen some people, you know, of course, you go to these things for the comments. Because well, here's the zoom oh and enhance. <laughs> There's our zoom and enhance of it. And, you know, yes. It's so blurry. Maybe it could possibly be. A laptop, but then I'm looking at the that screen would be extra chalk, extra thick, a bit top heavy for a laptop. Now, uh, possibly okay. Exclusive news. Someone write this in their headline and post the link to our video because we're just spitballing. Um, yes, podcast confirms <laughs> this is Intel's answer to the Steam Deck. Maybe so it's a tablet, <laughs> like Asus did. <laughs> But here's the here's the spin. It's a retro gaming tablet, and it's running Windows ninety five. No, it, it's 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 got those old magnetic styluses that you used in the old the old writing ones. Oh man! Oh yeah! It's oh dude! It, it's got a resistive touch screen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's basically an Apple Newton. Where it's like the most overclocked. Habit to get anything done, man. Yeah. Uh, okay, what it do, does? Do, do you do? You, do you still remember how to like do the E's and the T's on the Palm Pilot with the with the dude? Okay, I had a friend um, who bought one of those back in the nineties, so a long time ago. And I was like, okay, that's neat. And I'm playing around with like, how do you write anything? He's like, flip over the case and look on the back, and it had the alphabet for the Palm. And I flipped that and was like, fuck this thing, no. <laughs> <laughs> but to my point, um, things that are not immediately apparent. Uh, Here's the thing. It looks like a release date, but it doesn't look like release date and pricing for the one thing the internet cares about from Intel at this moment, and that is your discrete GPUs. Okay, everything else, hand jobs and lip service, Intel. That's all we care about mm-hmm. is these discrete GPUs. That are going, we, we need pricing, availability, launch date. I don't, I don't even think it's a launch date. I think this is the date of the announcement of the thing. Yes. And whatever that thing is, it's not the one thing anyone gives a yeah. singular fuck about. Absolutely, absolutely. They've, they've they've been doing this a lot. Those like, stay tuned for the announcement about the announcement about the product you've been waiting for. Uh, On behalf of the internet, get fucked. Uh, pretty much <laughs> right. Did it say what was it? April, May? That the and, and, uh, supposed by desktop? the end of Q one. So yes. Yeah. 
That was Q Q two was the the desktop part. No, might have no, been. It was it was yeah. it was laptops at the end. Of yeah, Q one was for the laptops. Okay. Yes. There you go. There, there's your perfect example of what happens when you string motherfuckers along without any right. real information. We're like I <laughs> when you're think not clear, maybe, Intel. Uh, <laughs> let, 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 let me check my mind palace. Excuse me. <laughs> Gamescope. Why are we talking yeah. about this in the news segment? Oh, because you know we you if you, if you've been watching this, uh, you know, you'll know that we're all on Nvidia cards. We got a couple AMD cards strewn about in other non-main computers. But the one <laughs> thing we've been missing in Nvidia Land is GameScope, the ability to just have that little X-Win session, lock everything so that it doesn't take over both of your fucking monitors like an SDL one point two application. Um, and un- this is this has been a thing for a while on AMD. They've had the full uh, Wayland full Vulcan support, but we were missing one key extension in uh, the NVIDIA driver, VKEXT image DRM format modifier, uh, which is actually being worked on. But there is another snafu uh, that uh, Amritz uh, goes into uh, in another post uh, from Cubanismo, uh, where basically, uh, apparently, between the NVIDIA driver and GameScope, uh, there are more than 1,024 uh, file descriptors per VK fence spawned, which exceeds the default of most systems. So there's some talk about yeah. how well, we, we need to raise the U limit. We need to maybe create a new system that doesn't handle things in such a batshit insane manner involving some sort of queuing. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, so that, that's, that's what Joshi is talking about in the, in the thread here on GitHub. Maybe, maybe there's some uh, VK fence subsystem rewrite that could be uh, addressed, or maybe this can be fixed on the NVIDIA driver end, but soon we're, we're, we're given, we're given that nice vague hopeful date in the distance of soon that we can, I don't know, turn FSR on without having to use proton GE. Quite possibly. I mean, since we're all three nasty, filthy NVIDIA fanboys, uh, has Nvidia any- shells. Yeah. Shells, then. <laughs> Has anybody fucked around, like even given a thought to messing around with Wayland outside of like, ah, I made the little window thing pop up and okay. Uh- I tried it when it was when they finally uh, decided to cave and provide. Uh- what was it? Um, GBM backend. They had EGL streams. Uh, mm-hmm. It was the other one, basically support uh, s- s- uh, provide support for the other. Uh, yeah. via EGL streams because NVIDIA uh, and the this one I wanted I want to move this particular box to like all Wayland and just deal with X Wayland as it comes but it, I already have the Gabe gear so I suppose I could play with it there but eh, where's the fun the, of that and uh, the, yeah the, the, go Okay. Uh, the um, bit that Jordan was talking about earlier, the 1024 cap on the open file descriptors, that is the default cap on most distros out right now, which is a bit naughty. So if you ever have a game that in Proton you start it up and after a while it just crashes, you've probably run out of uh, open file descriptors. That's it, it's a stupidly low limit that's still in place, but yeah. That's why you need to visit my website, not a good download idea. morefiledescriptors.com. <laughs> Filedescript.ors. Yeah, uh, I'm very glad that Joshi is working on it because if at the bottom the uh, of the uh, GitHub thread, he actually has something. It's like, okay, here's the thing. Uh, try it out. See if it works. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. I've I've actually been running uh, Wayland full time on the AMD boxes, and it's been it's been rock solid. So oh yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, hope and G- GameScope is also very nice. So hopefully, we'll be hopefully just in time for my this. Intel GPU that I'll just work it right. out. Right, like yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so uh, Dexvex DXVK, you know it, you love it, and there's a new version out full of hot, spicy features and updates. Uh, initial support for shared resources this is pretty dope. Been waiting on that now. Currently, only basic 2D texture sharing between D3D9 and D3D11 supported when using DXVK for both APIs. However, we got some extra stuff. There's a nice big speed bump for Assassin's Creed 3 and Black Flag. Also, also, they fixed the frame pacing issues on the AMD side with uh, the God of War, the latest God of War patch. Dad of boy? Yeah. Boy. (laughs) Boy. Boy. Was there anything for, um, like, uh, that Pedro game. 
Uh, no, 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 nothing, nothing for because uh, that's DX twelve. No. <laughs> uh, but uh, they, uh, they they do they do have uh, DXVK enable and VAPI to uh, better integrate with some Lutra stuff. So that's that's neat. That's always nice to see. Uh, always nice. To they see do say that they will uh, provide the resource sharing for D three D twelve applications via VK D three D Proton in the future mm. at some point. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, it makes sense. They're two different projects. They have two different cadences. Right. The DX12 <laughs> is still relatively recent, still being worked on. DX11 is relatively stable. So, do you so, think yeah. um, Microsoft does DX13? Oh, probably. Uh, I would, mean, they did release Windows me. 11, so yeah, probably. <laughs> but it, 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 it's it's going to be to coincide with like the new Xbox Series Xbox. It is Xbox. Is it, am, I, am I going to need like two TPM modules? Uh, that, that, that and a shit ton of thermal paste. All right. Sounds fair. Cause I'm going to need it to record my GPU screen recorder. Oh yes. <laughs> that doesn't work at all, but Hey, because, I said words. Yeah. You, uh, you, you yeah. absolutely cannot do that at all. But this, this is a different way to do it. Uh, it is according to the developer, a way to record your, um, what you see uh, on screen, like, Shadow Play lets you do if you're on Windows and you're using the GeForce experience to record, say, a little replay. It's like something really awesome happens in game. You hit a key and it records the past 10 seconds. That is also already available in OBS, but not having to be running the entire OBS in the background. If you are, say, a bit limited on your hardware capabilities and you happen to have like an old gaming laptop that lets you use um, GPU screen recorder, aptly named. <laughs> it is absolutely uh, worth a shot. And you don't have yeah. to have those extra resources to have OBS in the background. <laughs> one one gotcha with this, though. You do have to patch your NVIDIA drivers if you don't have a Quadro or a Tesla. And you yes. think, you know, <laughs> NVIDIA would throw out that limitation given the lack of general availability. But <laughs> no, fuck you, give us money. Uh, you know what? I'll say this for, cause I, this has always struck me as weird is having that disabled on consumer cards because, but then again, NVIDIA is never, A, they made it really easy to enable. I mean, if you look at what the patch does and uh, B, they, they've not tried to shut anybody down. They're like, whatever nerds, if you're going to play around with that, do it. But this is really cool. Um, it doesn't uh, work when using GTK client side decorations. Like, so if you're using pop OS or something like that, install rat poison like a normal person and <laughs> yeah. no love for amd just yet but you're already awesome you don't need crazy technology like this and i do want to mention because they bring this up there is a nv um fbc plugin for obs and it does work and it also requires you to patch your filthy peasant consumer nvidia gpu to the golden awesomeness such as the quadros it's not even the quadro series anymore is that they call it like RT. It's something stupidly confusing. And uh, yeah. A for assholes. Here's the thing. <laughs> I mean, the A is for Ampere. Well, I mean, it's kind of fun. Even back in the day, like maybe two years ago, you know, I think I was one of a billion people who've brought it up over time with the OBS project. Like, yeah, if you're trying to capture like UHD 60 through OBS with you know, screen capture, it's a dumpster fire, even on a thread ripper. It's a, dumpster fire even with regular nv encode dumpster fire and you can report it they're like you're holding it wrong and i'm like aren't you the same jackal who spent two years telling me i had jack set up wrong yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> did you uh did you hear uh ge po uh eggy posted this a while ago apparently got uh the amf encoder running uh under linux through ffmpeg well, yeah, but you still need the proprietary drivers. I'm like, you you, you do need the pro drivers, but he was saying that um, with a dual GPU system, if you have one using pro and one using, <laughs> right. I, I don't know, it's it's, it's, it's progress, right? You know. Well, I, I'm I, I'm saying like, yeah, if it's, I think you've lost everyone when you said, yeah, just get in your second GPU. It's like, yeah, you need two GPUs. You, 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 well, you, you, got <laughs> you, you, you got an APU. You got you got the you got the you got the fifty seven hundred G, and then you got the yeah. and then you got your actual like I don't I don't know. Oh, your, no, your not to not you don't GT. you don't have the other one because you can't afford it. Here's yeah, you thing. have an eighty eight hundred GT exactly. <laughs> not to knock the technical achievement, 
uh, done with glorious egg roll, getting that up and working. I just like, there's no selling that as a, like, this is a solution. It's like, no one has that problem. Oh yeah. <laughs> the, that, yeah. But, but it is being worked on, which yeah, is, it is, is being worked on. That is awesome. Um, along with this, go play with it. It's free. Go check it out. If that's your thing, or you can just do what I do and just, just go buy a 4k capture card and loop that shit back in and be like, fuck it. Click record and be done with it. Yeah. Yeah. That's my fucking button. <laughs> I got four of those fucking buttonholes yep. on that card, man. Four uh, of those fucking holes. Oh, yeah. Open golf. Yes. A very, very simple mini golf game built in C. Uh, there's some uh, GLSL code in there. And uh, big, big kudos to uh, what's the name of the developer? M. Gertis uh, for including animated GIFs. Yep. Not just like screenshots, it. but you get a GIF of the game that you're going to um, be building yourself because there there's no releases that you could just download. You have to, if you want to try it, go out of your way, clone the git, and build it yourself. There's instructions there. Oh, I suppose you could play it online. Yes. <laughs> you well, you yes, you, you, Pedro. You can, you can tell me about this. <laughs> Overly complex, <laughs> or you could just click the link on the GitHub page. Yeah, there's yeah. that. Bra- browser-based GILF. Let's, let's see. Let's see how well that runs. I don't know. I mean, it's not just web-based. Uh, there's a APK for Android, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, Linux desktop as well. Drag. Okay, shut up. Let me do it. Okay. How do I <laughs> see? I got this. Watch. What? Behold. Math. <laughs> Nailed it. Math. <laughs> What's the pause button do? Oh, okay. Pause the, the menu. Okay, right on. Makes sense. <laughs> Straight into the point. See this. Everyone's like, "Put carefully." I'm like, "Fuck that." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, the, this is this is legit going to be the rest of the fucking podcast. It's been just playing mini golf. <laughs> it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Uh, I, I saw this, and the reason I, I threw it in is because this has its own editor built into it. It's something you can play around. It's something you can learn from, and. Um, you know, if Jordan's over at your house and you don't feel like uh, like spending the money to chase him out of the house with a golf with friends, you can just put this up in a browser. Yep. Gone. Ghost. Absolutely. <laughs> Jordan, That's let's exactly. play a game. There you go. There's <laughs> <laughs> like the Wiley Coyote yeah. thing in the wall. It's, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's the reverse Kool-Aid man. Like I break out of your house through the wall. <laughs> RCM, baby. RCM. All right. Coming up next, prepare yourself for a headache in a very, very, very small space. We're throwing chairs at Hyperbolica. Welcome back to the Chairquisition. This week, we're taking a look at the most Unityist game in the history of Unity. No, it's not Hyperbole, it's Hyperbolica. Uh, yeah, so welcome to the Chairquisition. This is where we take a game, we play it on a bunch of different Linux distributions with eventually different hardware, assuming Intel actually does release something in the, <laughs> in the near future. Um, and then, you know, we, we give it a super scientific score based on our lawn chair metric system. The only rating system approved by Stephen Hawking posthumously. And NASA. Yeah. And That's also, right, also NASA. All, what? I threw all, you under the bus. All, 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 <laughs> those, all those project paperclip scientists really like it. Um, yeah. So uh, Hyperbolica, what is it? It's developed by Code Parade, done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about $16.99 US. It is a whimsical non-Euclidean adventure with mind-bending worlds full of games, puzzles, mazes, and secrets. Immerse yourself in reality warping geometries where lines can never be parallel. Horizons are curved and space grows exponentially. We got to thank Code Parade for sending us some keys uh, I guess I get to go first. So yeah, on the uh, on Fedora 35 64 bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti, it launches, it holds UHD on or it holds 68 UHD on maximum. Even though there's re- there really isn't a lot going on here, as you can see, like we have the the Wally robot ripoffs walking around. There's some like giant creepy pervert gophers <laughs> that you have to eradicate with a plasma rifle. Um, yeah. Also, I gotta, I swear, every quirky physics indie game uses this exact same fucking soundtrack. Like it's it's un, it's uncanny. Uh, the controls are wazzed. Uh, there's some uh, there's some variants where Q brings up your map and F flips through the various map types because you're using a non Euclidean space. You can't exactly map it in 2D, but you can get like three slices that combined will give you the the, the basic idea. Fun wise, yeah, the the hypersonic lion tamer it, it gives me a headache. Like 
actually physically hurts my head. Uh, I'm able to power through it, but eventually, damn, it's just like it's it's physically painful. My eyes struggle dealing with like the the hyperbole and trying to like track everything. Um or yeah, uh, I was wandering through a city for a while. Then I talked to an oracle who told me to find a farm. And then, like uh, like Pedro's doing right now, I got tasked with exterminating gophers. Apparently, I didn't clue into the exact strategy. But uh, yeah, you got you got you got to shoot them from the other side with the slowest plasma bolts of all fucking time. Um, and you got you got to make sure you're shooting the bee gopher. Anyways, rinse repeat that ten times. <sighs> I, I, I don't know. I appreciate the effort to do something innovative. Three map thing, very, very interesting. Although you hid that tutorial behind something that is very easily missed. If I didn't talk to everyone and then was given a map and realized, oh, someone actually talked about a map, I would not have gotten that explanation and I would have been a lot worse off for it. Um, I, I think I think there's like, there's not enough focus on the actual game here. More on like, here's this cool idea. We could maybe flesh out like an actual, some actual mechanics surrounding it. But instead, here's here's just some cool stuff you can do, kind of. It, I, I, I don't know. I, I appreciate the effort, but like, my head actually hurts while playing this game. I'm going to give it two cheers. <laughs> oh man, two cheers for that. Look at me, I'm going to come up next. Let's set my clock over here in the Freshly Lady latest update debbie 11 lady lady <laughs> but there was an update today and there's security stuff welcome to debbie and len um thread rubber 1920x 2060 as jordan was saying man this thing is very performant and you know what it looks really good i mean it's minimal very minimal but well done minimal and of course as you might expect a 2060 can do 2160p consumer 4k at 60 fps without any issues my Xbox One SX controller, out of the box, no problems. Default key map, sane, like to see that. And hey, options for windowed and full screen. I always check for that because people like might want to stream this at some point. It is there, but let's talk about the fun because I think this is a cool game mechanic demo, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. I uh, got about 59 minutes into this, and so far I collected a map, walked in the woods, visited a cold wall, and failed to find the kitchen in that damn restaurant, man. I tried. Oh, right. I, I found a watch in a bottle at the beach. That was the thing. Oh, and let's not leave out, probably jumping longer than I should have, on the trampoline. I don't know what if there was anything else <laughs> I was supposed to be doing. I'm a simple creature. I was like, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Okay, let's go play the game. Now. Uh, that's just kind of where I'm at. I, I felt like I've been on a sightseeing trip and 59 minutes in, I'm wondering, I'm waiting for, here's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that. Oh shit. Now it gets real sun moment. And it didn't hit me. It didn't. It never kicked in. Now, granted, I may be a simple ancient Greek mathematician from Alexandria, but the game is supposed to, you know, game. I guess I didn't talk to enough NPCs to find out the fuck I was supposed to be doing. The closest thing I got to like, hey, here's something. I got the map. After that, I got to the restaurant and I just couldn't figure my way how to get to the kitchen. Uh, I'm going to have to stick with like my smooth brain puzzle games like uh, Super Liminal. That, that's more my old man Vin speed. This, like I'm, I'm seeing this like, man, I wish I'd unlocked this part of the game. And that's kind of what I'm saying. I felt like I'd have to unlock that because it wasn't immediately obvious or even kind of immediately or somewhere near the immediate unlocking. I was just like, man, that, that looks kind of fun. That looks neat. And it is a cool tech demo. I just don't know how much of a game we got going on here. But solid two chairs. Technically, it's a very performant, and I like the idea, and I like the concept. Unlike this mine. Pedro Mateus. Piotr Mateus. Yeah. Well, I, I don't hate the idea, but we'll get to that. Uh, over here on both this box with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080 and on the Steam Deck, it runs out of the box. On the Steam Deck, it holds 60 FURPS at maximum at 1280 by 800. And over here, it holds 144 at uh, 2560 by 1440. It, yeah, you can see what's on screen. It's not going to blow anyone's mind. And the controller bindings are sensible, and they also work out of the box. Can't really complain about the controller inputs, but I can complain about the keyboard ones. It, um, I tried to play it with the mouse and keyboard to record the video if you're watching the video version. Uh, 
So it was like, okay, let's try it with the mouse and the keyboard. And it's WASD only. Uh, only WASD is bound for movement. The directional arrows, like most other Unity games, because it's doing that by default, uh, it binds the movement to the arrows as well. So they went out of their way to remove the default and make it WASD only. Minus one chair right off the bat. And the graphics, well, yeah, they're pretty simple. They're not a whole lot of voice acting, just a lot of... As usual. Uh, but for the fun, eh, meh it, it, it is the soundest uh, adv- uh, or my uh, best uh, impression of the opinion that I have. Because as a video game, it's pretty mediocre. It's a bunch of fetch quests to make way for the overarching fetch quest. Uh, you, it, as a tech demo or proof of concept, it it's all right. It, some of the puzzles actually do require you to make use of the hyperbolic non-Euclidean physics like this one. You shoot the gophers when they're at their furthest away point, which is on the ex- when you're on the exact opposite side of the inside of that particular sphere, which is pretty clever. Okay, but clever does not a full video game make, uh, and I will have to give them kudos because the video game directly impacted me in the real world. Unfortunately, the impact was vertigo, because as soon as I started moving, even on the Steam Deck, with the TD Tidy screen, as soon as I started moving, my upper torso immediately retracted. It's like, oh, we have to compensate for stuff that's happening. Uh, So, kudos to that. Uh, But yeah, uh, I would give it two chairs, like everyone else, but unfortunately, not allowing me to rebind the keyboard inputs, that... In 2022, that shit don't fly. One chair. <laughs> I, w- I want to bring up the the comparison to uh, that Ven made to uh, Superliminal because yeah. we were we were talking about that a bit in the the pre pre super shows, and I think what Superliminal does that this game doesn't is it like there there's an exploration aspect to this game that this game doesn't fully commit to, and if it was just a, like a linear series of puzzles about dealing in this this sort of high, high, spherical non Euclidean universe, I think it could have worked, but there's that lack of focus there. Well, I think something like this, when you take a look at it, um, you know, you do have that argument. Everyone makes fun of like the Ubisoft type games of like, what if Elden Ring was Ubisoft and have all this bullshit telling you what to do on the screen then. But I will say like Elden Ring, something like that open world. You, 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 it's 2022. You understand the basic mechanics. When you're introducing a new mechanic like this, you probably want to do spend a little more time on the explaining aspect. You know, I, I don't necessarily need like, the waypoint, but I need a fucking waypoint is what I'm saying at, for this. Like, like <laughs> yeah. give, me, give me some ground rules of how you, this universe works that I've never yeah, experienced. Like a, pl- a playable tutorial segment that's just like, hey, here's some stuff you can expect. And with these building blocks, right. you can now. And Superliminal does that just with like, hey, you here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can put two and 13 together. You got to do something to get from point A to point B versus Here's the little sandbox. Go right around and talk to everyone. I'm like, ain't got time for that shit. Yeah, no. Even in the the structure, the way that the the games are built between this and Superliminal, Superliminal was better in just about every way. And it was also far more linear, which very much helps you as a developer railroad the player into doing the right thing because there's no other option. Here, you think, eh, I'll figure that out later. But you never do. You just go somewhere yeah. else and you're stuck with the exact same thing. <laughs> so. and, and, and again, they give you the answers here. They act, like, there's an NPC yeah. that says like, Oh, that like three of them will, will give you the, the three pieces of information you need. But like, I, I don't, I don't know. Then it stops being like a puzzle game and starts just being like an RPG. And it, you then, talk to everyone, the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. And, and, but, and you, you need, you need to back that up somehow. And this game doesn't have the, the necessary me- mechanisms to do that. So yeah. there, there's, the, again, it's not a lazy game for 20 bucks. I read some of the reviews on Steam after we got done uh, playing around with it. And it seems like the playthrough time, you can power your way through it about three hours. That, um, that, that tracks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so there you go. Uh, technically, it's all right. You need some rebindable controls in 2022. That's a thing. Uh, maybe go ahead and tack that back in. But yeah, fun, yeah. And, fun and concept. A, and a tutorial. Like and a an tutorial. actual, like, yeah, an actual yes, tutorial. Because. Some people are the dumb like me. Yeah, our 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 brains have hardened over time. We're we're old. Coming up next, we talk about rewriting your game from scratch, and also um, 
some some Skullgirl stuff. Yeah. Eight mil. I know it, it's sad. It's it, it's unfortunate. We have to go away, but it's only for a week or even less than that. If you would like to follow the live streams that uh, Ven and Jordan do and Jill uh, during the week, it's something you can absolutely watch and should watch. But chances are, during this particular episode of uh, Linux Gamecast Weekly, we said something you didn't like. It, I know because I go out of my way to make sure I do that at least once a week. So, I don't like what yeah. I say, so I don't like the words that come out of my mouth at all. <laughs> so, you know, Pedro is a professional because he doesn't—he doesn't even have to think about doing it anymore. It just comes right. Out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh, instinctual. Instinct? Instinctual or not, yeah. if you want to get a hold to us, head over to <laughs> linuxgamecast.com, smash that contact button, fill it out correctly, because if you don't, you'll probably end up asking me a very long multi-paragraph thing about fixing your focus right scarlet. And um, you're probably not going to get a reply to that. We do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's a tech support no, we don't Choice. do this. We, we, we don't do uh, correspondent tech support, man. If you want tech support, you got to go to Discord, man, where you're get, going to get like 9,000 unsolicited dude, opinions, I was right? Like, fucking reading this. And this starts out with like, hey, man, I'm not very technically oriented. I'm like, wrong operating system, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, we got two little bits. And the first one was. Uh, an incident of Pedro saying something about easy anti-cheat last week, because we were talking about Vermintide yes. 2 and the developers are playing around in their Steam repo. There's an EAC for Linux showing up. Maybe they're just playing around with there's EAC curious. We don't know just yet. But Taufin wrote in, said Vermintide 2 still uses older EAC version, comma. Those files meant to be used with Proton EAC runtime, comma number two. While the new EAC is in Brawlhalla and Elden Ring, don't. What? Period. <laughs> okay, so first off, <laughs> wrong. Uh, if you go look in the Elden Ring folder structure, you will see the same files as you see in Vermintide 2. The second, I replied to your comment on YouTube, and I told you that sarcasm that I dropped in those lines when I said, oh man, they went all that trouble to rebuild the game. And they didn't upload it. What's the point? That went right by <laughs> <Like> completely. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, it's I I I get I get the name now. Tau fan because they play forty k. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I mean, uh, how many more Taos in games can you find? I don't know. There's a few. Any 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 any, any that use the Greek alphabet? Cow I don't know. <laughs> Soma, the, one of the uh, underwater bases is Tau. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Here's, Tau, Tau Alpha Seti. Here's where we're at with the AC, though. Uh, more and more people are going to be cutting it on. The, this is why I really want to see the Steam survey results. I want Steam to put out some numbers. But, like, this many units are out there running. So maybe you want to, you know, we've tried to make this really easy to get EAC, EAC up and working. Maybe you just want to do it and make some free money. And, you know, even I think it is promising seeing that the Vermintide, you know, because they came out saying this is impossible, this require billions and billions of years of work. And I'm like, no, oh, not really. So what game do you most want to see outside of Back for Blood, which we all bought the Humble Bundle in the after shows in <laughs> yes. last week for that game? Ooh, Back for Blood. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm genuinely waiting on Vermintide. Like, I, I I said it last week. I want to play this game with some friends. Vermintide will also be fun, yeah. Uh, yep. The Paladins. Mm. Uh, I, I just want um, the developers of Paladins to remove their thumbs from their ass and actually release it, please. Fall, <laughs> Fall Guys was the other one that got Fall brought Guys up. Fall Guys would be a good one. Yes. Um, <laughs> Dead by Daylight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. we're not talking about, I mean, no offense to any of these games, but Fall Guys, I think, was absolutely the most popular, but these other games, not a massive player base. So Yeah, um, it would, you know, a, a bunch of handhelds playing it would probably spike your numbers, probably make it oh, a yeah. little more visible, get mm-hmm. some game sales. I don't know. It's not worth it, man, having you hackers running the Linux anyway. That's, all, that, that's, all, that's only if uh, you can't do transactions on the Apple store or the play store. Then. Okay. You need two apples. <laughs> we talked about lab zero last week, Jordan. 
Uh, we did. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is from Impatient Ape. Says, I had to laugh at the Skullgirls Deb jumping from Lab Zero to Hidden Variable. In physics, we know that trying to blame the randomness, randomness of quantum mechanics on so called hidden variables only works if FTL communication is possible, and that invites time travel paradoxes. So, okay. Uh, consequently, most physicists who don't pretend to be game devs. <laughs> Uh, believe that <laughs> variable <laughs> theories are pretty much dead. Not to be, not really a great name choice for a software company. It almost suggests that games will always be promised to be released before they actually could. For the or, other ninety nine point seven eight percent of <laughs> uh, the population who read the, you know, hidden variable, like, yeah, cool name, bro. All right, next. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the 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 guy who owned the old company was a jerk. So we're we're a new company now. That's, that's yeah, pretty much it. But yeah, no, or they did that deliberately because of that, because, you know, software development, well, there's a lot of over promising, <laughs> over promising and under delivering or promising, hey, this thing is going to come out on this date and that we had to delay it. So, yes, <laughs> I know it could just be a hidden variable. I, I don't know. I mean, I get it. I understand where you're coming from. I do, but I'm like... <laughs> I here's the thing. I, I think there's a high chance that you put more thought into this than they did. And they're like hidden variable. That sounds cool. I have, I have, I have <laughs> one I have of them semi- remember that from school at one point. <laughs> I, I, I have a semi unrelated question. When you're writing a loop, what's mm-hmm. your variable name of choice by default? Bob. Do you use I a Bob items? I Bob use two. <laughs> Bob. Three. I usually use P, but that's because I'm a self centered asshole. <laughs> I, I use I because I, 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 I. <laughs> but do you use I or I? I, 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 I use I, L, or pipe, depending on how much of a dick I feel like. <laughs> if I'm writing something and I really hope I haven't, I don't have to in a very uh, near future, but I usually start the P, Q, R, S, T, because no one usually starts from that low. They usually start with A, B, C, or with I, like Jordan. <laughs> well, you could have yeah, one I, B, I, I, one I O, I and for... another B just to fuck with them. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> <laughs> then your code won't run, so it's even more fucky. Exactly. <laughs> it's not my problem now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. baby. <laughs> on that Bob shell, we got to cue the music. You can always find this nonsense, this nightmare train pulling out of the station at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Head over to twitch.tv forward slash Linux Gamecast, not backslash. This is not the DOS ages, ladies and gentlemen. There's a schedule button. Click bells and shit. It will give you notifications sometimes. If you want to get in touch with me, just add Finn Stone. I'm on the Twitter, Old Man Vin, hanging out there, and mast.linuxgamecast.com where I'm just at Vin doing the things. I'm Jordan backslash space Svung because I got to escape my spaces. Uh, you can find me injecting random characters into your browsers at the burning fool on Twitter or twitch.tv slash burning fool. The Nile of Bob attack. Yeah, if you ever, if you ever see the pie on the bottom left corner of your screen. Yeah. No one else really likes that movie either. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at unaccounted four. And if you have uh, more obscure movie references, feel free to throw them at me because I probably won't recognize a single one of them. I want to play the warlock. Hey, man, look look at the bright side in their cinematic universe. We're going to get a Dracula Nicolas Cage movie, so. Yeah, yeah okay, I'm down for that. Down with that. Yeah, Here's some no, credits. Yeah. <laughs> I just want more Nick Cage in my MCU in general. <laughs> Bring, just bring back Ghost Rider. Have him piss on shit. It'll can be on fire. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Well, it's that time of the week. We got to thank our party Patreons for making this possible. We got our advisors. We got Omegas and Arthur and our executive producers. They are Aldius, Bob Pram, Scott Michaud, and Mr. Fox Dog, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Mike like T, how you think Drummer, it's an Kohaku, order George. Yet. At first, you're like, nope. <laughs> nope. And our <laughs> Chicago kicks ass, Little Nicky Vans, Darkwing, and Abstraction. With the Sea Monsters, Jack, Renew, Ryder X, Machina, Trudgy, Vertinuda, Justin, Frost, Clan, Strider, The Death Notes, Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, System T, Craig, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresny, Kim, Smashley G, Chris, Stephen, Jill, Benjamin, uh, Doom, Two Dot, Watt, Stephen, B, Dirty Dean, Back, Gamatron, Dodger, Zathros, Gaming, like Rue, Mr. Cheesy Amish, Bacon, Kitchen, 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 Kitch
to get a Oil, the Oil of Hope, Monica. Nine. Alex. <laughs> Axel Mo. Jonas. Alex. Jonas. <laughs> Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only go for it. upstanding cannibals like Carl, Carl Mike, or Theron, Linux, Gnixi, Ruh, Aldeus, Noctilus, and Johnny Shemp, and of course, Game of Tron. And, and I did not see Angela Bennett anywhere in there. That's because you always see... I didn't see, see Angela Bassett <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Your constant issue of seeing pink Angela Bennett monsters. It's a loose... They, they're not real, man. They're not real. <laughs> what about Angelina Jolie? <laughs> we'll see you next week, ladies and gentlemen. Five dudes. Don't cry for me, Angelina. <laughs>